Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video and we're going to be talking about natural hair, some of the products I love, and we're going to be talking about why people think that black chicks can't grow their hair. That's something that, you know, I've kind of heard growing up, oh, black people can't grow their hair, oh, they have nothing under their wigs, yada, 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 yada. And um, now that I'm older, and you can clearly see this is the hair that's growing out of my scalp, that's a myth. And I don't even know who came up with that myth, but I want to say a couple things before I get into this video, which is going to be talking about the bunch of natural hair products that I absolutely love and my most recent hair product haul. And that is, um, hey, if you want to wear a wig, then wear a wig. Who cares what anyone else says? If you want to wear your natural hair out, wear your natural hair out. Who cares what anyone else says? Um, I just think it's so funny that people have an issue with girls that wear wigs and they think they don't have hair. Just because people like, you know, especially black girls, I love wearing my wigs, um, you know, and because it's just easier. Sometimes I don't want to have my hair out. I live in a sunny state and it's pretty humid here. And the moment I even style my hair, when I go out, it's going to be frizzy. These curls don't always last. So sometimes I like to wear wigs. More often times than not, I like to wear wigs. And sometimes I like to wear my hair out. Is it anyone's business with what I like to do with my hair? I don't really think so. Um, but I just think that's so funny that people think that black chicks can't grow their natural hair. I don't understand that. And you know, it's really funny because one time when I was in high school, I had my hair permed and I remember, I cannot, I will never forget this, it's so funny. I remember going one of my, I think it was a science class and there was this guy and he's like, oh, that's not your real hair. And like, he literally yanked my hair and I'm like, no, this is my real hair. You can clearly see it growing out of my roots. So I just think it's so funny. and. I don't know, maybe a lot of it stems from just people seeing us wear a lot of wigs and weaves and they just assume, or maybe a lot of the girls they do see with their hair out, they have short hair. And oftentimes, some people just don't know how to take care of their hair and that is why your hair is not growing. Some people's hair grows faster than others. And um, just with us sometimes, you know, managing this hair is not easy. It takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time. And a lot of people like to wear their hair short. They don't really, you know, they don't really care to grow it long. But I just think it's so funny that there's these random myths that people think that we just can't grow our hair. I mean, I've seen a lot of naturals, a lot of people who are relaxed that have super long hair. So just FYI, um, I know you probably, you guys clicked the video because the title said natural hair. Um, the t I know you, a lot of you guys clicked this video because the title said um, black girls can't grow their natural hair. Well, guess what? They can. We do. And... We, you know, we can grow our hair, so um, just don't assume anything about anybody or any nationality or any race or whatever the heck it is. Everyone's different. There's no stereotypes or um, that fall to a certain race or um, demographic. Everyone is their own individual and we are all given our own free will to do whatever the heck we want to do when it comes to us as individuals. So just keep that in mind and once again, for everyone else that thinks that black chicks are bald headed, they don't have any hair underneath their wigs and weaves, it's just a myth. So we're going to get into this video and I'm going to talk about this most recent hair haul I got. I got a ton of stuff from Target and I've just been really inspired by a bunch of natural hair gurus and um, just a bunch of natural hair individuals on YouTube that I really enjoy watching and that's kind of why I picked up some of this stuff and I'm really excited in a couple of future videos to show you if they worked in my hair, what I felt about them. So yeah, enough of this rambling, let's get into it. So the first product I wanted to pick up was a shampoo. I saw this Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Fortifying Shampoo. And the thing that kind of drew me to this shampoo was that it has oil in it. And with my hair type, I think it's, it doesn't even matter what type I have. I don't know what does it matter, but it's definitely in the type 4 range. But um, with a shampoo, it can be very drying. So I wanted to get a shampoo that had oils and a lot of moisturizing ingredients and this one does. It has avocado, olive, and almond oil. And it is a fortifying shampoo and I'm pretty sure it has, yeah, it does have sulfates. I'm not against using sulfates and when I did test out this shampoo, it didn't feel like my hair was stripped. It felt really moisturized and I think because it has the added oils in it, it works as a barrier to just prevent your hair from being stripped completely. So here's what the back of the bottle says it says fructose formulas with active fruit protein an exclusive combination of citrus protein vitamin b3 and b6 fruit and plant derived extracts and strengthening conditioners for healthier stronger hair so it basically says it transforms very dry hair with nourishing moisture for stronger smoother shinier hair no way down no greasy feel i definitely think it doesn't dry your hair the first time I tried it, I really liked it. So this is something I'm going to be keeping in my stash. 
The next thing I tried that I'm most likely going to return is the um, Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner. It has royal jelly, honey, and propolis extract. extracts. I hope I'm saying this right. Um, I was really excited to try the Whole Blends line after seeing some of the commercials and it just looked like a really cool concept, really cool um, line by Garnier Fructis and it just seemed like it was like another natural conditioner. So when I tried it, for some reason it just didn't seem to be transform my hair like my other conditioners do. One of the conditions that I really like to use on my hair is the Aussie Boost, the Aussie Boost, the Aussie Moisture Conditioner. Oh my gosh, like that conditioner is best. So this one, um, I just didn't think it really did anything to my hair. I didn't feel like my hair was, it felt any different from before using it. So maybe it's the ingredients in here, but um, I'll just explain to you what's on the bottle, what it says. It's paraben-free formula, gentle for everyday use. It's blended with a selected ingredient that gives back our argan. Wait, it says... This product is blended with a select ingredient that gives back. Oh, okay. Our argan ingredients purchased fairly and sustainably to support local farmers and communities. I think that's pretty amazing. Kudos to Garnier for doing that. Um, the bottle is made with recyclable pet plastic um, with 30% consumer recycled waste. Let's see, what does it say to do? It says our creamy lush formula blooms with a del delicious fragrance of royal jelly, honey, and propolis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Um, bringing to life our wholesome care that strengthens hair and helps prevent split end and breakage. It smells really good, but um, this is just, it's going, it didn't do anything to my hair. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is some gels. So I've been watching a lot of wash and go videos and I've come to realize that wash and go is just not for my hair type. I'm not a natural who can wear their hair in a wash and go style because my hair shrinks so much. Um, I just want to show you guys like a quick length try length uh, check of my hair um it kind of goes down to there i'm not really entirely sure but um so my hair my actually is really growing it's growing pretty well i think i i did the big chop like about two years ago i think and so after watching a couple natural hair videos you see a lot of girls do the wash and goes and it just looks so nice and your curls are popping and whatnot well i try to wash and go and the problem with that with my hair is i have so much shrinkage so what you see here is after a braid out but if I were to do a wash and go, like my hair would be like up to here. And that tends to create um, breakage and matting for me because my hair is super coiled. So I like to wear my hair in a stretched state. So wash and goes don't work. And I bought these jellies because I thought, ooh, maybe it'll help with shrinkage. Nothing will help with shrinkage, honestly, unless you put it in a roller set or um, you braid out. You put your hair in braids after you wash it. Other than that, no gel is going to help with shrinkage. If they say it does, I doubt it. It may help a little bit, but not really. Um, so one of the gels that I did try was um, the Unjackies Curls and Coils Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel. And I heard a lot about this on YouTube, so I started. I wanted to try it. It says, enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein, flaxseed rich in omega fatty acids, promotes hair health from the inside out, and helps to prevent dryness and flaking. Excuse me. <laughs> Aunt Jackie's moisturizing flaxseed recipe adds nourishment, nourishment to hair while giving bounce and stretch to withering curls, twists, and coils. Mmm, it smells really good. So yeah, I did try this. I don't think it was, it didn't really transform my hair. I think it's a good gel. Does it have a strong hold? Um, honestly, does it have a strong hold? No, I don't, my hair didn't come out crunchy after using it, but, um, does it help with shrinkage? It says don't shrink. No, I... I think it's just a good gel. It's pretty affordable if you want to look for an alternative to the um, Eco Styler gel. I think this is great. I'm not sure about the ingredients. I don't think it's anything that has a lot of natural ingredients in it. But um, I think it's overall a good gel. But if you're thinking it's going to stop your hair from shrinking, that it's just, it's just not going to happen, guys. Um, the next gel that I got that I was super excited to try was the... Curl Magic Curl Simulator. I saw this at Target and the reviews were amazing for it, so I did try it. And I think it's a great gel. Um, it doesn't leave that crunchy, hard feeling. And um, did, it do, did it do anything to transform my hair? No. I think, did it do everything it says? Let's see. Um, let's see. What does it say? It says, these products are specifically formulated for kinky, curly, and wavy textures. It's fortified with aloe vera, horsetail, and nettle to strengthen hair, simulate growth, and provide shine. Marshmallow extract prevents dry scalp and promotes slip. Definitely agree with the marshmallow extract in this. This has an amazing slip. I think it's a really good 
um, gel. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. These two gels I would recommend. Um, like I said, if you're looking for gel that's going to stop your shrinkage, I just don't think any product would do that. But I think they're a good gel. doesn't leave a hard um, cast or white residue. And I think that's huge when you're trying to look for gel because nobody wants to be going out looking like they got snowflakes on their hair. So this is another good gel that I really liked. Um, a gel that I use for my daughter's hair is the Curl Maker by Camille Rose Naturals. You guys probably heard about this. This thing is so amazing. I love the scent of it. I've been using this for a little bit. Um, for my hair, it doesn't it doesn't have any hold actually. There's like no hold in this at all. But I think it does define my curls. If I am using a brush or a comb, definitely does a good job in defining the curls. And I do like how there is a lot of natural ingredients in it. So from reading the back, let's see, what does it say? It says, our curl marker, bleh, I can't even talk, seriously, what the heck is wrong with me? It says, our curl maker, curl defining jelly, is handcrafted with marshmallow and agave leaf extracts. Define curls without the crunch. Yes. This is great. Um, I don't really need to say more about it, but this is a product that I got, and um, I've just been loving this product. Okay, so let's move on to the leave-in conditioners and moisturizers. So, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret, and I'm, man, this whole entire haul was completely worth it because I found this product, and this is definitely my favorite leave-in conditioner. It's my ride or die, and it's even to the point where I literally purchased five more of these because you never know what product could change formulas, and then you're screwed. So I got this, I tried it, and the amount of slip that is in this product is incredible. Like, I think I was singing, um, oh my gosh, I was just, I was literally like shook. I was so shocked at how well this thing mar like just meshed with my hair. It is just it's incredible. In the moment I like was just like raking it through my hair. It has just an incredible slip and it just it feels like nothing. I've never tried anything that done done this to my hair. So being a natural hair girl, it can be hard finding products that aren't really expensive. Of course you can find products that aren't expensive that have a lot of good ingredients, but it is hard and you have to do your research. Um, so I was just really happy that I came across this product. And yeah, so let me tell you guys a little bit about it and why I love it so much. So it is called Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In Conditioner by Renper Professionals. It comes in a 16 ounce bottle and oh, it's, just, it's just amazing. But let's talk about what it does. So it says, discover the benefits of using bare naked coconut oil. With natural raw coconut oil, your hair will look and feel moisturized, healthy, and refreshed. Disclaimer, if your hair doesn't like coconut oil, it most likely may not like this, but I think you should give it a try because this is literally the best leave-in conditioner for my hair, me personally, that's just my opinion, it is just amazing. Um, coconut whipped cream leave-in conditioner is packed with super moisturizing microscopic coconut oil that easily absorb into your hair to provide a nourishing boost of detangling hydration, styling, and frizz control. Does it do what it says it does? Yes, and I'm not going to talk anything more about it because I will do more videos on these products. So, this thing is amazing, I think it was like 7 bucks. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a... Um, it's a TGIN. It stands for Thank God It's Natural. Um, it's a buttercream daily moisturizer with shea butter, vitamin E, avic beret, de carotte, and plus vitamin B. Oh, I guess that's in a different language. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, so it includes shea butter and vitamin E, and this is what the description says. It's a super rich and creamy everyday moisturizer for soft, shiny, manageable hair. It has no parabens, sulfates, petroleum linoleum, artificial colors, or animal testing. I think that's amazing when a company can say that. For some odd reason, I'm not sure what the purpose of petroleum, petroleum and hair products, or I don't, I don't understand why people do that. But um, this thing is amazing. I use it when I do the lock method on my hair after wash day, and it just provides so much moisture. I can leave my hair braided in for days after I put in my shea butter mixture that I learned from Whitney, Natural 85. This thing is just a game changer. It's amazing. I would 100% recommend it. And it's a TGIN daily, um, it's a buttercream, daily moisturizer. The next thing we're going to talk about is the Camille Rose Naturals Curlade Moisture Butter. This thing, all their products smell so good. This almost smells like, mm, I don't even know. It smells like, it smells like something you'd get from a bakery, but it smells amazing. This is also a really good product. It says hydrate, soften, and strengthen. And this is supposed to um, bathe your tresses in an, arom an aromatic, nourishing, and tantalizing blend of coconut, jojoba, and olive oils. Curly provides maximum moisture and curl definition. 
I really like everything in this line. They did a really good job on this line. Um, I think it definitely does everything it says it is supposed to. It is, you know, a good moisturizer. So if you're doing a wash and go, um, sorry, not wash and go. If you're doing a braid out or twist out, I think this is good for added moisture, especially in the winter time. So I would definitely recommend this. The next thing I'm going to talk about that I tried that um, I bought, I didn't really care for it, was the Baboa in Tea Tree Oils Low, Low Porosity Protein Free Leave and Detangler with Spearmint Extract and Clary Sage. I tried this product and I wasn't really a fan. I don't think it really did anything to transform my hair. Um, it just kind of seemed like it just sat on my hair. So I'm a high porosity per, um, chick. I thought my hair was low porosity for the longest time and that's why I bought this. But then I recently did the water test and my hair like sunk. So I guess I guess the porosity of your hair can change. But um, yeah, so this didn't really do anything on my hair. But I'll just read what it does. Um, I guess if you want a light detangler, this could probably be it, but for me, I need like thick creams um, and moisturizers in my hair. Okay, so it says, this multitasking detangler conditions hair while unraveling tangles and knots for easy comb through. Provides long lasting moisture without surface buildup. Infused with fast absorbing baboab, whatever that word is, um, and tea tree oils, spearmint and, clay, and clary sage to promote scalp health and enriched with certified organic shea butter to deliver balanced, nourishing hydration where hair needs it most. Leaves hair smooth with a healthy shine. Now, did this leave my hair shiny? Mm, no. Um, nothing, it didn't really, it just didn't really do anything out of the ordinary for me. Did it really help me in managing and detangling my hair? No. Um, so yeah, this product I will be buying again. The next thing, actually, my camera's gonna die, so I hope I can finish this. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is a twist defining cream by As I Am. Uh, I've used this and I don't, I, I mean, my hair didn't really care for it. I, I'm sure for some people it works well, but um, it just didn't seem to do anything like that amazing. But I do like the ingredients in here. It has sunflower oil, castor oil, amla, sugar beetroot, um, and a couple other oils. And it says it's, um, let's see, it minimizes frizz and maximizes smoothiness. I definitely think it does. I really like the ingredients in this. Um, but honestly, this is just it's such a small bottle. And after I found out about the um, the other leave that I was telling you guys about, it's just it's just, just too expensive for the price. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is this gel. It's by Main Choice and it's the Ancient Egyptian 3 Carat Glistening, 24 Carat Glistening Gold Twisting Gel. This gel smells amazing, guys, and I do like how it kind of has a little bit of gold specs. It's kind of the higher end of natural hair products. Um, so it says, it delivers amazing definition for twists and braid outs, helps to mend damage and restore health, gentle enough for daily use, moisturizes hair and tames frizz, it's loaded with fatty acids, omega-3s, and 3, 6, and 9, and it helps to replenish hair and fight against split ends. Do I agree with that? I definitely agree with it. Um, sometimes I just leave it, um, put a little bit of gel on my hair after the lock method when I wash it, just to um, kind of define my curls and just kind of make sure there's not a lot of frizz. So I think this is a great little gel. If you have the money to spend on it, you should definitely buy it. But if you don't, there's a lot of alternative gels that are much cheaper and they do pretty much the same thing. So this is a great product. Another thing that I absolutely love, I also love this on my daughter's hair, is the Curls, um, Lavish Curls Moisturizer. This is just a great spritzer to just refresh your curls. It has amazing slip. And I definitely agree with the things that it says that it does. It's a second curl refresher daily leave-in. So it's certified organic pomegranate fruit extract, aloe leaf juice, and jojoba oil. And um, it just pretty much takes as a refresher. You don't need to rinse it out. And it kind of reactivates dry curls. Definitely does everything it says it does. If you haven't tried it, and you just need some like a little spritzer instead of using water, this is your girl. The last two things I'm going to talk about is the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Uh, it is, I mean I swear, Camille Rose products are amazing. I don't need to tell you much about it. You can see my hair is like, I don't know if you guys see that, but my hair is in there. This stuff is amazing. Love it. Um, it's just a great twisting butter. It gives your hair so much moisture. If your hair is dry like the, like the desert. This product gives your hair amazing moisture. I absolutely love it. It's a great twisting butter. Um, and if you're a high porosity girl that needs that moisture in your hair, this is definitely going to do it, and a little bit goes a long way. 
The last product I'm going to talk about before my camera dies is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner, um, it just, like I said, this product, it transforms my hair. This one, not so much. I feel like after I, I used it, it just didn't, um, it didn't do anything that amazing for me to keep it. So let's see what it says it does. I'm not sure if I talked about this, but um, it beautifully seals cuticles, boosts shine, and prepares hair for styling. Hydrates and softens, helps prevent styling product from flaking and hardening upon hair when used prior to applying styling gels and creams. And it says to apply liberally throughout hair after shampooing or co washing. Um, this product, I just like, wasn't really a fan of, like I said. I definitely think it, um, let's see. Does it, did it add any extra shine to my hair? No. Is it a great moisturizer? Yes, but is it like, you know, whoa, like a holy grail or staple? No. I just, it just didn't seem to add as much moisture. And I think probably one of the reasons why I didn't really like it was it was kind of lightweight. So, but it smells amazing. So, I mean, if you're someone who doesn't like a heavy leave-in conditioner, definitely try it. But for me, I just wouldn't repurchase it. So yeah, that is my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. And let me know if you want to see any other videos in the future. Um, natural hair videos, DIYs. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to get back on YouTube and like really post videos every freaking day. Um, I'm really inspired by this community and I'm just excited to be back and just, you know, post content that I like to watch, that I like to see. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Leave it a comment below on what you like to see. If you guys like this video. All right, bye.